वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम ट्वेल्व डैश फोर्टी फोर दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्राम चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व दैट इज डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ बीम एंड शाफ्ट एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाई आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज द बीम इज सब्जेक्टेड टू द लोड शोन डिटरमाइन द इक्वेशन ऑफ इलास्टिक कर ई आई इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज ओवर हैंगिंग बीम वेयर देर इज अ रोलर सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट ए एंड अ पिन सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट बी एट दिस एंड वी हैव अ लोड ऑफ ट्वेंटी किलो न्यूटन and at other end we have load of 20 kilo newton so you have to determine the equation of elastic curve so basically we will solve this question by using discontinuity function or macaulay's method so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this support at point a so you will be having a reaction force which is represented as r a and if you remove this pin support at point b so you will be having a reaction force as rb so you'll find this ra and rb by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is sum of all moments about point a is equal to zero taking the counter clockwise movement as positive so about point a first movement is this 20 into perpendicular distance is 1.5 and this is producing counter clockwise movement so it will be positive so i will write it 20 into 1.5 the second movement that is produced due to this rb about point a is this rb into perpendicular distance is 3 and this is producing counter clockwise so it will be also positive so i will write plus rb into perpendicular distance is 3 the last movement that is produced due to this 20 kilo newton force about point a is force into perpendicular distance is 4.5 and this is producing counter clockwise movements it will be negative so i will write minus 20 into 4.5 is equal to 0 so here uh, we will get 3rb plus 30 20 into 1.5 is 30 and this will be minus 90 is equal to 0 so 3rb will be equal to this will be minus 60 so it will be 60 so from here you will get rb will be equal to 20 kilo newton so this is rb now we will find ra by using another equation of equilibrium that is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so you can see one force this is plus 20 plus ra plus rb Minus twenty, so this is also minus twenty because this is downward. So minus twenty plus R A plus R B, which is equal to twenty, and minus twenty is equal to zero. So from here you will get R A will be also equal to twenty kilo newton. now you have both ra and rb so what we will do is that we will find equation of elastic curve and we know that equation of elastic curve can be obtained by using this formula ei into d square v over dx square where v is deflection and x is the distance that starts from here is equal to moment so we will find this moment by using macaulay's method So by using discontinuity functions or Macaulay's method, and for that we you can see this is the table that is available in chapter number twelve, deflection of beam and shaft. So for that I will write the equation of moment. This moment is equal to now you you can see here we have loadings so this is first second third and fourth four different type of loading so in our case we can see all the loads are points loads so what we will do is that we will use case number two so moving from right hand side we will count all these forces this this and this and we will leave this one on the left uh, sorry this is the right hand side. and this is left hand side so moving from left to right hand side we will neglect this 20 kilo newton and we will include all these force now you can see this force is upward and moment equation is defined by this and this force acts at a distance of a and x start from here 
so x is again start from here for this loading a will be equal to 0 so i will write and this force is downward while this force is upward so moment is positive so for downward it will be minus p which is 20 into x minus a is 0 power 1 second force is ra that is acting upward so this will be plus ra is 20 kN so 20 into x minus a now a is equal to 1.5 for ra load so my x minus 1.5 power 1 and the third one is rb and that is also positive because it is upward so moment equation will be positive so rb is 20 into x minus a so a for rb will be equal to 1.5 plus 3 which is 4.5 power 1 so what we will get is the moment equation will be minus 20 into x plus 20 into x minus 1.5 plus 20 into x minus 4.5 now put let this is your equation number a so put value of m in equation number a so we will get e i into d square v over d x square will be equal to minus 20 x plus 20 into x minus 1.5 plus 20 into x minus 4.5 what we will do is that integrate this equation you will get e i into dv over dx will be equal to minus 20 x square over 2 plus 20 into x minus 1.5 power 2 divided by 2 plus 20 into x minus 4.5 power 2 divided by 2. So we will get e i into d v over d x will be equal to minus 10 x square plus 10 into x minus 1.5 square plus 10 into x minus 4.5 square and there will be a constant of integration c1 so c1 will be also there let this is your equation number one so again integrate again integrate equation one we will get e i into v which is deflection or displacement minus 10 x cube by 3 plus 10 into x minus 1.5 power 3 divided by 3 plus 10 into x minus 4.5 square cube divided by 3 plus c1 x plus c2 let this is your equation number of equation number two now we can see that c1 and c2 are unknown constant of integration so using boundary conditions to find out c1 and c2 so first boundary condition is that at x is equal to 1.5 or you can also at x is equal to 1.5 we have displacement is equal to 0 so what we will do is that i will show you here x is equal to 1.5 we have displacement or deflection is equal to 0 because there is a roller support at point a so what we will do is we will put in equation number 2 put it in equation so you will get e i into 0 is equal to minus 10 into 1.5 cube divided by 3 plus 
10 divided by 3 into 1.5 minus 1.5 whole cube plus 10 divided by 3 into 1.5 minus 4.5 whole cube plus C1 into 1.5 so it will be 1.5 C1 plus C2 so it will be equal to 0 and this will be again minus 10 by 3 into 1.5 cube plus this term will be 0 this term will be minus th uh, 3 and anything inside the Macaulay bracket that is minus will be 0 also so 0 plus 0 plus 1.5 C1 plus C2 so what we will get let uh, so we will get 0 is equal to minus 10 divided by 3 into 1.5 you can simplify it as well plus 1.5 C1 1.5 C1 plus C2 let this is your equation number 3 now second boundary condition is that at x is equal to 3 meter you have dv over dx which is equal to slope will be equal to 0 so let me show you over here so due to this loading the beam will bend like this clear so here you can see this is the distance where x is equal to 3 and here you can see if you take the tangent to this curve so its slope dv over dx will be equal to 0 so what we will do is that put it in equation 1 so this is equation 1 so if you put it in equation number 1 so you will get ei into dv over dx is equal to 0 and that is minus 10 into 3 square plus 10 into 3 minus 1.5 square plus 10 into 3 minus 4.5 square plus c1 so 0 is equal to minus 10 into 9 plus 10 into 1.5 square and this term will be 0 because 3 minus 4.5 is minus 1.5 inside the Macaulay bracket and that will be 0 0 plus C1 so from here when you calculate it you will get C1 is 67.5 now you have C1 so put the value of C1 in equation number 3 so you will get C2 and C2 will be equal to minus 90 now you have C1 and C2 so we are interested to find out the equation of elastic curve and this equation number 2 define it so what we will do is that uh, we will put the value of C1 and C2 in equation number 2. So you will get EI into V is equal to minus 10 times X cube over 3 plus 10 by 3 into X minus 1.5 whole cube plus 10 by 3 into X minus 4.5 cube plus c1 which is 67.5 x plus c2 is minus 90 so i will correct it this is minus 90 and if you divide ei on both sides so you will get v is equal to 1 over ei into minus 10 x cube over 3 plus 10 by 3 into x minus 1.5 whole cube plus 10 by 3 into x minus 4.5 whole cube plus 67.5 x minus 90 
and its unit will be kilo newton into cubic meter and what if you have e and i so put their units so at the end you will get the v unit will be in meter or you can convert it into millimeter so that is the answer or equation of elastic curve for the given loading shown above and that was all about this problem 12-44 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching